Hello friends, the car was equipped with both petrol and diesel engines. Petrol were represented by a 1.8 liter inline four with a turbocharger 150 and 180 horsepower and without it 125 horsepower, as well as 2.4 V-shaped sixes 165 and 170 horsepower and 2.8 liters 193 horsepower with five valves per cylinder. The most powerful 2.7 liter turbocharged power unit developed 230 horsepower. In 1999, a charged Audi S6 was equipped with a 4.2 liter V8 with five valves per cylinder and 300 horsepower at the exit. Later, with the help of two turbochargers, the power of the 4.2 liter Audi RS6 unit was raised first to 450 and then to 480 horsepower. In 2001, instead of an atmospheric 1.8 liter, they began to install a 2 liter with a capacity of 130 horsepower and a 1.8 turbo with a return of 180 horsepower, taken out of production. At the same time, the power of the 2.4 liter engine was raised to 170 horsepower and the 2.7 liter engine to 250 horsepower. The 2.8 liter unit was replaced by a 3 liter one developing 220 horsepower. The diesel 1.9 TDI with 110 horsepower and 2.5 TDI with 150 horsepower after restyling, they boosted to 130 and 180 horsepower respectively. The 2.5 liter diesel also had versions with 155 and 163 horsepower. The Audi A6 C5 engines are generally quite reliable, but like any unit, it is not without drawbacks. The main problems are associated with high mileage and inevitable aging, as well as unreasonably high prices for service maintenance in young years, which forced owners to resort to savings. High quality fuel is a favorite delicacy of a German gasoline engine that prefers 95 or 98 gasoline. Units refueled by the 92nd suffer from interruptions more often than others. The chain drive resource is at least 180,000 kilometers, but sometimes the chain had to be changed even after 120,000 kilometers. After 200,000 kilometers, the chain tensioner began to die. After warming up at idle, the noise of the camshaft chain knocking appeared, subsiding with an increase in speed over 1500 RPM. Replacing the timing belt drive is recommended every 60,000 kilometers. At the same time, do not forget to change the pump as well. It rarely nurses two timing belt replacements. A lot of problems are caused by an electric coolant temperature sensor, which often bugs, nursing from 20 to 150,000 kilometers. Many owners of the Audi A6 C5 have encountered its replacement. It is not expensive. It manifests itself as overestimated temperature readings and there may be problems with starting. After 200,000 kilometers, the catalytic converter required replacement, which having worked out its resource began to contribute to an increase in fuel consumption and ate part of the engine power due to an increase in pressure in front of it. Just as often, he became guilty of uneven engine idling. After 200,000 kilometers, a number of specific diseases appeared. The list includes the loss of tightness of the sealing ring of injectors in severe frost, posing as the appearance of the smell of gasoline. Lost tightness and vacuum hoses. As a result, a noticeable vibration appeared. The ignition coils failed at the hall sensor, camshaft position, and the oil temperature sensor were required to be replaced. The latter often leaked before its death. Soon, the resource of engine pillows dried up. It was also worth monitoring the condition of the viscous coupling of the cooling system fan. The list of consumables could include a water pump and a fuel level sensor. Over time, the hoses of the engine systems and power supply lost their elasticity and doubles. They became fragile, which required accuracy when dismantling them. After 250,000 kilometers, some owners encountered the problem of starting a hot engine. 
As a rule, the reason is the failure of one of the links in the following chain. A relay, a hall sensor, a crankshaft position sensor, or a gasoline pump. Often, with a high mileage, it begins to snot from under the valve cover. There can be several reasons. Loose cover bolts, which happens very rarely, a clogged crankcase ventilation system, a valve or nozzles, the main reason, or overheating of the engine, which caused the cover to deform. Clogged crankcase ventilation can be determined in a simple way. If the palm applied to the open engine oil filler neck pushes out, then the system needs to be cleaned. Oil consumption at a run exceeding 200,000 kilometers often begins to grow steadily and therefore requires more frequent monitoring of its level. A major overhaul of gasoline engines is almost inevitable after 400 to 500,000 kilometers due to exorbitant oil consumption. In the event of an oil pump failure, which happened with high mileage and partial oil starvation, engines showed miracles of reliability, having endured a dry to a car service, without jamming or even turning the liners. The oiler on the instrument panel will report a decrease in pressure in the oil system. The turbocharged 1.8 and 2.7 liter versions will require extra attention, primarily due to the turbo itself. Its resource is about 150,000 kilometers. Over time, the plastic base of the turbine over pressure valve bursts, and the crankshaft oil seal begins to leak, more often when starting a cold engine. The fuel pump, aging, will also require replacement, not allowing the engine to squeeze out the maximum. The weak point is the sealing ring at the heat exchanger, which can burst in severe frost, making room for oil. 2 liter aspirated return 131 horsepower often suffered from increased oil consumption even in the early stages of production. The 2.4 liter engine is the most massive among the Audi A6. Among the common malfunctions, one can single out the current valve cover and the ingress of oil into the candle wells which far adversely affects the performance of the spark plugs. 2.8 liters are allocated by increased oil consumption. There may be an oil leak through the cover of the hydraulic chain tensioner. On models older than 1998, the camshaft chain tensioner had a short resource. A 3 liter unit with high mileage will require replacement of the intake manifold gasket. In addition, the BBJ version received an aluminum block with a coating on the cylinders, which crumbles with age. The ASN version sometimes upsets the appearance of cracks on the sleeves. Diesel engines, like all relatives, require more frequent maintenance and good diesel fuel. The 1.9 TDI is not as dynamic but economical and rarely breaks down. Until 2001, it had direct injection and a distribution pump and later received pump injectors. Among the weak points, one can note the airflow meter and the corrugation connecting the exhaust manifold to the muffler. After 200 to 250,000 kilometers, it is necessary to update the injector nozzles. Pump nozzles reach 400 to 450,000 kilometers. The 2.5 TDI is much more expensive to maintain. For example, to replace the timing belt, you need to disassemble the entire muzzle. Until 2002, it had problems with camshafts, rocker arms, and valve guides. As a result, the engine began to make noise, vibrate, and lose power. After 220 to 250,000 kilometers, it may require replacement of the high pressure fuel pump, the rotor pair wears out, or the control transistor of the metering valve burns out. The engine was troubled and oil leaks. After 400,000 kilometers, most likely a major overhaul of the TDI V6 will be required with the replacement of the piston, turbine, and shaft grinding. The cars were equipped with a 5 or 6 speed manual gearbox as well as a 5 speed automatic with a dynamic DSP program, which took into account not only the driving style of the driver, but also the grip of the tires on the road. The built-in Tiptronic system allowed, if necessary, to switch to manual control. In 2000, they began to use the Multitronic Variator in parallel, which is not very reliable. It could only get front-wheel drive versions. 
the 4-speed automatic relied on the 1.9 TDI. The all-wheel drive version of the Quattro was equipped exclusively with a manual transmission. Of the gearboxes, the most tenacious turned out to be mechanical, carrying for at least 200,000 kilometers until the first signs of poor gear shifting. Synchronizers usually wore out, and with high mileage, the differential. The automatic transmission is a little more capricious, and the most unreliable is the Multitronic CVT. The main cause of variator failures is the ECU, the failures of which led to the breakdown of the box. The chain used instead of the belt required replacement after 100,000 kilometers. However, sometimes the variator without problems reached up to 200,000 kilometers, followed by expensive repairs that extended the life by 40 to 70,000 kilometers. Tiptronic is more tenacious than Multitronic. The declared resource of automatic transmission is about 300,000 kilometers, but in reality it is much less, about 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Main problems failure of the oil pump and wear of the clutches. As a rule, after 200,000 kilometers, jerks and shocks appeared when switching. The all-wheel drive system does not cause any particular complaints. However, when examining the all-wheel drive version of the Quattro, special attention should be paid to the silent blocks, front axle seals, differential, and rear axle. The gearbox may buzz after 300 to 400,000 kilometers. Bearings. Soon it is the turn of the rear drive shafts and the cardan shaft. The crosses and the outboard bearing wear out. Suspension in the Audi A6 II, depending on the operating conditions, runs from 80 to 100,000 kilometers. The most expensive is the aluminum front suspension. The lower rear arms give up faster. The rear multi-link suspension, Quattro versions, is much more enduring. And the rear beam is almost eternal. However, if the tires on the rear axle on the inside are worn out, the entire beam will need to be replaced. Hub bearings and CV joints nursed for 200,000 kilometers. The power steering pump will last up to 200 to 300,000 kilometers. A little later, you will need to repair or replace the steering rack. On machines older than 1999-2000, brake hoses required increased attention. Due to a design flaw, when the drainage in the body is clogged, water enters the vacuum brake booster. The design of the car, even despite its considerable age, is worthy of the most flattering reviews. The paintwork, especially untouched by an accident, has no less advantages. But with age, the wheel arches begin to bloom, sometimes the paint around the door hinges swells. Corrosion pockets can appear under the sealing gum at the bottom of the doors and on the thresholds. The fifth door of the Avant station wagon sometimes gets sick under glass, and clogged drains and leaky seals contribute to the ingress of moisture under the floor covering, which contributes to floor corrosion. Chrome inserts darken over time, and on the molding, under the headlight, chrome begins to peel off. Often, the edges of the lower door moldings move away due to the loosening of fasteners metal inserts that are susceptible to corrosion. With age, regular optics go blind. Reflectors burn out. The car interior has good sound insulation and very high quality finishing materials that will not pester with their creak. The only creaky detail is the rear double seat, which shuts up when there is a passenger. You can fix the situation by sizing the plastic on the sides of the seat. Another weak point is the plastic glass guides in the doors, most often in the driver's door due to its frequent use. At the same time, the windows do not close completely, returning down. Sometimes silicone grease helps if the cause is banal souring. Electronics is the trouble of the overage Audi A6 C5. For example, the arrows of coolant temperature sensors, fuel level, and other indicators take on a life of their own or are too silent. There is only one way out, a complete replacement of the dashboard. Morel boards from 2000 to 2001 are especially affected by this. In addition to a simple replacement of the dashboard, the control unit often requires a flashing. With age, the dashboard display surrenders. 
the ABS, ECU, and airbags malfunction. Often the cause is oxidation of the contacts and tired soldering of the unit. The unfortunate location of the comfort unit leads to loss of control of windows and light in the cabin. It is located under the driver's mat and water gets on it. Often the door switches built into the locks are buggy or completely fail. The disease is treated only by replacement. The locks are not separable. Short-lived and control relay turn signals and alarms built into the emergency gang button. After 300 to 400,000 kilometers, you have to repair or change the generator and starter. And after 350 to 450,000 kilometers, the clogged heater radiator loses its effectiveness. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it. <laughs>